The new Jean-Paul Gaultier release just dropped. Le Beau, Le Parfum. Let's unbox it and have a sniff. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Woo! Right, what I'm going to do today is compare the new Le Beau Le Parfum to the original Le Beau EDT. Just for your information, even though it's called Le Parfum, it's actually an EDP like they did with Le Mal Le Parfum. That was an EDP as well. They just like to confuse people because they just they think it's fun, I guess. So let's get this out and have a spray of each of these fragrances. Now, did, were you a fan of the original Le Beau? Came out in 2019. I think it's decent. You know, I. I don't like it as much as I like Le Mal Le Parfum. I don't like it as much as I like Le Mal. I don't like it as much as I like Ultra Mal. I don't like it as much as I liked uh, Le Mal Au Fresh. So, I, so there's a few Le Mal's I like more than than Le Beau. But Le Beau is still pretty decent. We've got that coconut vibe. It's got some richness. It's got some depth. But it had a lightness and it had a slightly summery feel because of the coconut it gives it a bit of an exotic type of smell although I wouldn't say it's a summer freshy at all but very versatile fragrance I just felt that it perhaps wasn't quite as distinctive it didn't have quite as much character as some of the other Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal releases so let's have a little spray first on the hand of this one I'll just remind myself of it yeah it, it is decent it's very good I like it I think the opening maybe is better than the dry down, but there's a bit of Lamal DNA in there. And then you got the coconut. So yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice scent. Let's see how the Le Parfum compares. So here are my two bows. The EDT is a colored juice inside a transparent bottle. This is, I think, yeah, still the same colored juice, but in a, a faded bottle. I think that looks really, really cool. Actually, the thing I like about Le Beau is that they, they, they have the decency to, to cover up the, you know, the jewels. I appreciate that. It's fine. We don't have to, you know, we don't have to censor it out. They've, they've already done it for us. Okay, so let's do a direct comparison. By the way, what I'm going to do in this video is just compare the openings of these two fragrances, give you a few initial impressions on this, and then I'm going to go away wear this for a day and come back on another day and then conclude my thoughts on this. So here we go with some first impressions of the new Le Beau Le Parfum. Straight away, iris, but it's not a lipstick iris like in the Dior Online. It's more of a an earthy oris, I would say. Pineapple, a little bit of a juicy pineapple. The pineapple and the iris, to me, seem to be giving off this this strange accord a little bit weird i wasn't expecting it actually but not bad just something i wasn't expecting something a bit different i can't decide if it works yet or not i'm not sure i have to give this a full wearing hmm i, I think i like it but i've got to say i got to be honest it's not instantly jumping out at me as a mind-blowing fragrance it's not as bright as the edt it's definitely richer and deeper it's not quite as youthful smelling so perhaps this would lean a little older it does smell a bit more sophisticated it's maybe a little bit classier i could get away with wearing this one in warmer temperatures but i'm not too sure i'll, I'll try this out over the next day or so and let you know about that let me read the notes out for you so we've got pineapple iris cypress ginger coconut woodsy notes sandalwood tonka bean ambergris and amber trying to work out how I feel about this. I, I think I quite like it. The pineapple in it is, is like a, a tinned pineapple rather than a nice freshly cut pineapple. You get some woods in here. I'm not particularly picking up much coconut that doesn't have a really exotic feel. Maybe if it was fresh pineapple and, and that coconut was a little creamier and a bit more prominent, maybe it'd have a bit more of an exotic feel. But I mean, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's not blowing me away. I think maybe at the moment I'm liking it on a similar level to, to this one, but I am not gonna make a judgment just yet because I need to be fair to, to this bow here and 
give it a decent wearing. So I'm gonna come back in a few days, give you a few more details about this fragrance, let you know whether I like it, what performance is like, all that stuff you wanna know. So that's it for me right now. Uh, I will see you in a second. Right, I know I said I would see you in the studio again, but I just needed to give you some updates on this fragrance. I've been wearing this for about two solid days now. And you know what, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really getting much from it. I've wore this around the house. I've worn this to come out today and all I'm getting is pretty much no projection. There's about five minutes of an opening, which is quite nice. You get some pineapple and you get a little bit of airiness, but then it just fades so quickly. And if I smell my hand now, I sprayed this 20 minutes ago, all I get is tinned pineapples and a little bit of a woody thing going on. I'm not getting much projection. Longevity is just not very good at all. I don't know if it's me just going nose blind, but so far, I'm really not impressed with this. Right, I think Jessica, Jessica is going to smell uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Bola Parfum. Just have a sniff on there and let me know what you think of it. Does it smell nice, if you like? It smells like something. Yeah. It smells really good. I should do really like that. Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, see if you have some on there as well. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. I do like that. All right. Now. Nice. Good. Yeah. Thanks for your uh, video. Cheers. That's it. So, it's been a week since I recorded the first portion of this video. I wanted to give this some good wearings. I wanted to give it a chance. I like to give every new fragrance a decent chance, especially a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance. Ah. <sighs> uh, just didn't do it for me. As you saw me saying in the video, the opening is pretty decent. I quite like that you get some Oris in there, you get a little bit of that Lamal DNA and you get the pineapple, even though it's not a, a fresh, juicy pineapple, more like a sort of tinned pineapple. It's good, it's a, it's a decent opening. And as you saw, the young lady in the video really enjoyed the opening of the fragrance. And, and I'm sorry I messed up, I wish that I'd also got her to smell the dry down. But I didn't, so I can only give you my opinion of the dry down of this fragrance. And unfortunately, this is where it really falls down. Opening is fine. After about an hour, it just becomes this sort of bruised, tinned, pineapple-y, woody mush. It just all just seems to hang there together. There doesn't seem to be any finesse or, or nuance or any real distinctive characteristics. It's just a meh, mushy type of generic, slightly boring dry down, unfortunately. And that opening just doesn't last long enough for me. The really nice part, 20, 30 minutes. And after that, it just takes a steep decline downhill. Even though I wasn't that crazy about the original LeBeau, I, I quite liked it. And I do think it's a better fragrance than this one. It's a little livelier, it's a bit more youthful, it's, it's more fun, it's more diffusive. I think you get more projection off this. It's a little sweeter, so a more enjoyable wear overall. I thought they may sort of go more into the coconut. I thought they might lean more into the coconut for the new Le Parfum because that was sort of one of the hero notes in this fragrance, but I get less of the coconut. I would like to have smelled more coconut from this one, for the pineapple to be a little bit fresher for it to have a bit more of an exotic tropical vibe but obviously something a little more suitable for maybe a summer's evening so maybe a little dash of rum in there can you imagine a virgin island water with some of that lamal dna that could have been good that could have been really good but it just is Pretty boring, unremarkable fragrance in my opinion. I'm really sorry. I hope it really works for some of you out there and I'm sure there will be many people in the comments that say, what are you talking about? I love this fragrance. I get so many compliments off this fragrance. Well, I didn't and uh, I didn't love it. It's, I don't hate it. It's not awful. It's not offensive. I, I would wear it, but I'd be a bit bored wearing it. I think I'd even forget that I was wearing it. So why would I want to wear it when I've got fragrances that I enjoy wearing so much more than this? Like this or you know most of the other Lamal fragrances so yeah didn't do it for me if you wanted to try this and you want to know when you might wear this fragrance in terms of seasons I think it would probably suit spring and autumn the best not too bright not too dark somewhere in the middle in that sort of 
boring area. Um, but maybe a summer's evening you could get away with wearing this fragrance. As I said, performance for the initial half an hour was okay. It was projecting nicely as far as I could tell. And then it just seemed to come really close to the skin. So after that first half an hour, maybe an hour, I thought the performance uh, took a drastic fall off and I wasn't really getting much at all. Yes, you'd expect a, an EDP to sit closer to the skin than an EDT, but it was so close that I, I couldn't smell it. So anyway, um, so there are my thoughts. Uh, it's brand new. Give it a sniff. Try it. Try it first. Try it on skin if you can, because it didn't really do it for me and I wouldn't want you to buy this fragrance and then find out that it's not doing it for you. So do try it if you can. I'm sure it's a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, so it's going to be available in lots of places. If you love the fragrance, if you've had um, good experience with this, please do put those down in the comments because my opinion is only one and anyone researching or looking into this fragrance will have a better chance at deciding if it's for them if people put their experience. So if you've tried it and it works for you and you really love it, please share your experiences below because that helps us all out and it just balances things out. So it'll sit there looking chiseled on the shelf, gathering gathering dust for a few years and, and, and then who knows, who knows uh, where this handsome young fella will end up, but uh, not on my skin, I think it's safe to say. All right, let me know if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you do all that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.